from Health and Life Sciences, that fantastic faculty there. Hooray! And I'm a gastrointestinal physiologist, but today I'm going to talk about open education, which is something completely different. So what do we mean by open education? It's a movement now that's sweeping the world. It started in the year 2000. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology started to share its learning materials, and now schools, colleges, Universities all over the world are sharing their learning materials. They're breaking down the barriers to education. As the last speaker said, it shouldn't be a political decision. We're sharing resources, we're communicating with people, and we're letting people all benefit from the joys and opportunities that education offers. Now in the UK, we're really lucky. We've got a government-funded open educational resource program. It's run by the JISC and the HEA, who are fantastic. And at De Montfort University, we've been involved in three major projects. Um, the Virtual Analytical Laboratory, Scooter, which is all about sickle cell and thalassemia. And now our latest project is all about releasing health and life science materials, so biomedical science, midwifery, forensic science. We're sharing our resources with the world, and this is fantastic. We put our resources on the internet, and the key to opening the door to education has been the open license, the Creative Commons license. So look out for this on the internet if you find stuff on YouTube, on Wikipedia, modules, lecture notes. It means they're open for use, they're open for business. So if you're a student, you can use these materials. If you're a lecturer, you can use these materials. So look out for this chap, Creative Commons. It's revolutionized education and opportunities around the world. So all our materials are on the internet. They're on search engine optimized websites. It makes them hugely discoverable. People are coming onto our websites from all over the world. Had a fantastic email from a trash collector in America. He looked at our virtual analytical laboratory, which is a lab skills resource. And he said, how fantastic. I've always wanted to know how the microscope worked. So our resources are being used by members of the public, by students, by professionals. And we're, we're sharing our expertise here. Go on to Facebook, come and chat with us, and go on to Twitter. Um, we can share ideas and we can introduce new stuff that you want to do. I'll just finish with the best resource we've released to date. Was an out of date textbook. That's the other thing. Think about how many people retire, how many books are out of published publication. All that knowledge is lost. But open education is re releasing and mobilizing all that stuff. We released a genetics textbook, which was one of the most important textbooks in the 1980s, all about blood disorders, sickle cell disease, and thalassemia. And this book by Frank Livingstone is now on our Scooter website as an open educational resource. Um, this is what his daughter Amy said. I'm really delighted that Frank's book is available. He would be very pleased because he was really keen to share his work. Since you posted it on Scooter, I've got emails from colleagues and friends from all over the world saying how fantastic it is that Frank's work is available online. That's what Open Education is all about. Go on to our websites. If you want to learn more, just Google DMU Viv. So you'll probably see me playing the saxophone, but you'll also see me um, on the DMU website and you can get my contact details. So if you want to know more about Open Education, Come and have a cup of tea. Thank you very much.